on what's brewing. Satellite-based surveillance provider for the maritime industry, Pearsight, has raised $6 million in its seed funding round, co-led by Alpha Wave Ventures and Elevation Capital, with participation from existing investor Techstars. Headed by ex isro scientist Gaurav Seth and Vineet Bansal, a former engineer at National Instruments, Pearsight aims to tackle the challenge of constant ocean surveillance with multiple satellites. And to elaborate further, joining me now are the co-founders themselves, Gaurav Seth and Vineet Bansal. Gentlemen, welcome to Startup Street. And Gaurav, let me uh, first come to you. Peersight is creating a persistent and dynamic view of all human activity at sea through a constellation of synthetic aperture radar and automatic identification system integrated satellite technology. Now explain for a layman what this means and what pain point are you solving with Peersight? Yeah, so right now there's no coverage of the oceans which are 70% of the earth. So with Peersight's constellation not only will be receiving the location signals of ships, which are called AIS, and they are supposed to constantly broadcast them. But if they are not transmitting those signals or spoofing those signals, hmm. we'll be able to constantly view them with our satellites. So speciality of synthetic aperture radar is that it can see through clouds and image at night. Okay, so your technology will provide eyes and ears at sea, uh, you know, offering monitoring exactly. capabilities to organizations that rely on maritime intelligence. Uh, Vineet, coming to you now, give us a sense of your clientele. How many clients have you onboarded so far or are you in talks with? Yeah, so we are in talks with global uh, non-governmental organizations focused on uh, ocean conservation, uh, such as organizations working on illegal fishing detection, oil spill detection, as well as we are also speaking to global maritime players focused on uh, analyzing maritime trade, risk assessment, insurance firms. Uh, parallelly, we are also speaking to government related to defense and intelligence. So across the all sectors, we have a strong GTM strategy and going after customers in each of these domains. Okay, uh, Gaurav, coming back to you and now let's talk about the fundraise. Uh, the $6 million funding will be used for the procurement and testing of critical hardware, the design and launch of demo and operational satellites. If you could elaborate on the fund allocation plans and also when do you hope to deploy your first operational satellite? Give us a sense of the timelines. Yeah, so apart from the two points you mentioned, uh, you, we also plan to build a a team, a great uh, R&D team in India, which is building these satellites. <clears throat> so the $6 million will be used uh, for setting up uh, the team as well as the R&D facilities to develop our first satellite uh, subsystems. And we plan to have a launch uh, in 2024 of a demo satellite. Okay. Uh, Vidhi, coming to you and Gaurav mentioned that you plan to expand your team. How many members are you looking to add and are you hiring across all verticals? Uh, yes, coincidentally, we we uh, have launched about 10 to 12 open positions yesterday. So anybody who is watching the show can maybe go at our <laughs> careers page and look at it. Uh, uh, we have uh, about 15 members on board already, and we're adding about 12 more members uh, in the near time. All right, so you're pretty much doubling your team size. Uh, Gaurav, you know, maritime use cases are just a start. Peersight has the capability to catalyze global efforts for sustainable marine resources, uh, usage, better oceanic logistics infrastructure, and for the well-being of our oceans. But can you first take us to the revenue model? I believe you're aiming to be the lowest cost operator in the sector. How do you plan to do that? Yeah, so uh, let's say the example of India alone. India spends about a billion dollars every year in monitoring its own exclusive economic zones by different methods such as ships, boats, and helicopters. While what we are seeing here is that SAR-based satellite surveillance is the most optimized way to do it. So the uh, revenue model will diverse across exclusive economic zone monitoring, fishing industries, insurance industries, as well as hedge funds, trying to locate uh, all activities across the oceans. Okay, Gaurav, also if you can throw some light on some use cases, if you could, you know, give us some examples as to how this technology is going to help the clientele that you were talking about. Yeah, so uh, for example, currently illegal fishing mm. leads to a revenue loss of billions of dollars across India, Southeast Asia and several nations who cannot afford to have such kind of constant surveillance. So with pure sight satellites, nobody will be able to turn off their AIS signals and carry out illegal fishing which not only harms the fishing uh, in, <clears throat> fishes and flora and fauna of that yeah. region, 
but also has a major impact on the economy. Uh, similarly, oil spills. A uh, lot of waste oils are dumped into the sea and people get away from it. Once we have peer sites constant monitoring, such kind of people will not be able to get away anymore. All right. Uh, Vineet, one final question to you. India has made rapid progress in space tech in a short period of time and is poised to accelerate dramatically. What are the growth plans in terms of the revenue? Uh, you know, any targets that you have or if you could share some expansion targets? I think this year's target is to reach space as soon as possible. So this year we are heads down building our product, taking it to space as early as possible uh, while doing some pilot programs with the customers I mentioned across different verticals. Uh, we are targeting at least two pilot programs in each of the verticals uh, we described earlier, uh, such as uh, illegal fishing detection, oil spills, the hedge funds, insurance, and uh, defense. All right. Uh, many thanks, Vineet and uh, Gaurav, for joining us on Startup Street today and wish you the very best with your growth plans. Thanks again for joining us on Startup Street. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Shruti.